Hey fam, here we are in Santa Fe. Now artists all over the world say they come to Santa Fe for the sky. Look at the beautiful sky. It's not that brilliant blue that you get in the middle of the daytime, but it, the sky is beautiful in Santa Fe. We're here for a different kind of art. It's Indian Market Weekend coming up, and we're here. I got a case of turquoise, and I'm going to be downstairs talking to the turquoise boys, the people that mine the turquoise and come here to sell it to artists, to see if I can sell them some of my turquoise. In several cases, I'll be selling it back to the guys I bought it from if they're interested, but I bought it some time ago, so it's worth more today. So we're looking forward to that tomorrow morning. Look at the sky. Some balloons just got released right over there in the distance. You probably can't see them, but. Hope it's for a good cause. So fam, we are out here enjoying this. I am enjoying this right now. Rich went downstairs to try to sell turquoise or network with turquoise people. I'm not sure how the whole turquoise hustle goes, but here's some of the vendors down here. So there's all these little booths and then they're all set up underneath there with all of their works and it's, you know, mostly artists that are selling their own works, which is really amazing when you think about it. All down there. I'm not sure if every one of these is filled up. It looks like there's some empty spaces still because technically the event has not started. But there is like hustle and bustle in downtown Santa Fe. I'm going to not drop my phone off of here. But yeah. It's so incredible how these colors stand out. Like people wear so many um, like green and turquoise looking colors. And I guess that's really common where everybody is just super down with the vibes. Good morning, good morning fam. Here's the first person that we're watching this morning. He's got a big old Louis Vuitton bag that he's hauled all the way from down there. Who knows how far he actually had to walk. But the fact that he's having to take a rest right now, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Not because he's old or anything and like, you know, bags are heavy, but just because when you think about what's happening where it's a Louis Vuitton bag and he has his status symbol as the bag, instead of just using like a rolling suitcase like a Samsonite or something that's so much smarter. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get a clip whenever he leaves. And with that, on cue he leaves. So yeah, it's a heavy bag. You can see that he is definitely working it. It's probably filled with all of his treasures. See, this is what some pros look like. Let's see, as I cross paths. See, you gotta have a roller cart with some wheels on it, man. Otherwise, you're setting your Louis Vuitton bag down on the sidewalk right next to the drain. Oh my god. It's just too funny. Too funny. Good people watching. All right, here he goes. He's hauling it off again. He actually has a pretty good pace for it being so heavy. I wonder what's in there. Silver, a bunch of silver, honestly, because it's just so darn heavy. All right, good luck, little dude. As soon as I wished him good luck, he stopped and had to switch hands. <laughs> so it's like, oh man, he made it from right there to right there before he had to switch hands. Get a roller! There's this little gem, which I don't know if all of you will appreciate that, but that right there is a Mazda 5, and you can see in the front they have an intercooler, and they've got the little hood vent on there. So, I'm just hoping I hear it start up. Ah, this dude looks like he could be Rich's brother right there. Hey! Here's an artist, and he's walking up with his second suitcase. See, they you move one suitcase at a time. That's how you're efficient. All 
All right, Rich, we done came to the native market and you sold all your stuff and how do you feel? Feel great. <laughs> I got one less big heavy case less to carry. Sorry.